Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post market update dated the 15th of April, 2024. The Indian market made a smart recovery from the day's low to extend the winning streak to a fifth straight session on April 25th, but last hour profit booking capped the gains. At close, the Sensex was up 486.50 points, or 0.66%, at 74,339.44, for and the Nifty was up 167.90 points, or 0.75%, at 22,570.30. Biggest Nifty gainers were Axis Bank, SBI, Dr. Reddy's Labs, JSW Steel and Nestle India, while losers included Kotak Mahindra Bank, LTI Mindtree, HUL, SBI Life Insurance and Titan Company. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Shares of MAS Financial Services zoomed over 5% on April 25 on account of strong earnings report for the quarter ended March 2024. The company's consolidated net profit rose 23.3% on year to 69.4 for rupees crore in quarter 4, and revenue from operations grew by 24.1% year on year to 345.8 rupees crore during the same period. MAS Financial's disbursements came in strong at 2,866 rupees crore, while assets under management rose 25.05 year on year to 10,722 rupees crore. Its provision stood at 21 point for rupees crore, translating into annualized credit costs of 0.9%. Shares of Barat Forge soared over 7% on April 25th after the stock got a double upgrade from Bank of America Securities. The international brokerage now has a buy call on the stock with a raised target price of 1,450 rupees per share, implying an 18% upside from the previous closing price. Analysts at Boffet Securities anticipate that the down cycle in the US truck market will be brief, shallow, and is already factored into the price. Despite this market outlook, there hasn't been any noticeable decline in production, and freight indicators have shown signs of stabilization, it said. Dalmia Barat shares tanked more than 7% in early trade on April 25 after the cement manufacturer recorded poor earnings for the fourth quarter. For the three months ended March, Dalmia Barat reported a 47.5% decline in consolidated net profit to 320 rupees crore, compared to 609 rupees crore in the year ago period. The company's revenue from operations surged 10% on year to 4,307 rupees crore, as against 3,915 rupees crore a year back. The cement players' volumes rose 11.8% on year. Shares of Indian Hotels Company fell over 5% on April 25th despite the hospitality chain reporting inline profit, revenue for the March quarter. The Tata Group firm's net profit jumped 27.43% on year to 418 rupees crore and revenue rose 18% YOY to 1,951 rupees crore, helped by a strong revenue per available room growth. However, it's EBITDA Miss Street estimates. Raj Oil Mills Limited in daily time frame is trading around 75.65 points with a change of 19.98% and is trading with a net volume of around 425.409 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 57.38, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 90.61. Lexus Granito, India Limited in daily time frame is trading around 49.15 points with a change of 15.78% and is trading with a net volume of around 973.50 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 43.91 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 67. Hitachi Energy India Limited in daily time frame is trading around 9,329.50 points with a change of 13.6% and is trading with a net volume of around 527.64 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 8,183.64, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 79.06. For the stock recommendation we have, Bank of India Limited looks good and can be bought at Rs 151 rupees, 
keeping a stop loss of 146 rupees and a target of 156 rupees. Reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!